Here's American Horror Story, episode 3 from season, season 1, titled Murder House, which is that we learn that uh, this house is, has a very rich history, as we're learning episode by episode, and probably to the continuation of the whole the whole uh, American Horror Story kind of, is this a TV series or a miniseries? I don't know what they're, what they're doing here, but obviously we're learning a lot about what's going on in this house, and which is part of the whole Los Angeles kind of uh, murder scene. I think after the whole OJ, where OJ killed, or well, supposedly killed, Ron Goldman and his wife, um, basically, uh, this is the next murder thing in the murder kind of uh, scene. Like, it's kind of funny that these people, there's, there's actually a tour in Los Angeles that, that occurs here, that there's actually a tour where we go and watch people where people got murdered, famous people got murdered. I don't know. I guess this is why this show is popular, I guess. So anyways, there's a structure in, in, uh, in American Horror Story so far. Basically, there's two teasers. The first teaser is that is that we learn, uh, we go in the past and we learn a history lesson of what took place in the house. In this case, this episode, we learn where we go from the beginning of the routes, how it was built, uh, who lived there, and basically why it started to set up, set up the whole murder house, because this is the whole, the first time an abortion were, uh, kind of wrong took place inside the murder house, which is, you know, a symbol for a lot of murder happening, I guess. And then the second, there's a second teaser that's happening in present day, which will set up the episode. So we have one teaser, one present day, one present day teaser. Then we have the opening titles, and then we go into the first scene. Usually, after the opening titles, is is a patient of the shrinks, and basically that patient will represent the thematic of what's going on in the episode. So basically, that's what's happening in a more American Horror Story from season one. That that's the structure that's taking place. There's nothing wrong with it. It's kind of cool the way they do it, and uh, we because we, we so we learned a lot and what's going on in this episode. So a couple things I want want to bring up. The whole maid being the vixen and being the sexy sex pot in the guy's point of view. So all men see her as a sexy sex pot and basically all the women see her as the old person from six feet under. I think it's fucking brilliant and basically it kind of sets up what's what we're about to see later on in the, in the episodes. And of course the death of the girl that he was having an affair with and basically it seems like she's gone. Kate Mara, Rooney Mara's uh, sister is gone forever but of course she's not gone forever because first three episodes you're, you're thinking it's one thing and all of a sudden you're you're this is what makes a great storytelling all these little things that you've learned in the first three episodes are going to come come back to haunt us literally in the remaining episodes of american horror story that's my review